Oh my god, this, this is possibly the most famous photographer on this list, and I didn't know his damn name! Hey! Are you familiar with the concept of a tier list? Well, if you're not, what a tier list is, is someone takes a group of things somewhat associated in some other category, and then takes the old typical A, B, C, D rating that you know from grade school, adds an S on top of it for some reason, and then they go through all the items they picked for this tier list and rank them so that people who are really invested in whatever this category is see that their favorite thing doesn't make the rank they think it deserves, so they get so upset, they start fights in the comments, and it just drives so much engagement that their YouTube channel explodes! And I'm sitting here thinking, I probably haven't exploded because I haven't done a tier list video yet. So that's what we're gonna do today. A tier list to blow this channel wide open. Oh, are you excited? Because I sure as hell am. For this tier list, I've repurposed the old horse app, if you recall that from previous videos. And this time this beautiful neural net blockchain NFT field application is going to help us rank superstar photographers. That's right. The horse app is gonna go out there, collect the best photographers that it thinks I need to rank and feed them back to me. And we're just gonna put them out on the board and that's gonna be it and it's gonna be awesome. So let's just stop jabbering and let the horse app do its thing. So as we can see, the horse app has an excited knicker to get this process of rating photographers going. Let's see who it wants us to rate first. Ansel fucking Adams. Damn right it would pick Ansel Adams number one. And I don't think, is his middle name actually? No, hold on, I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta see what his actual middle name is. Ansel Adams middle name. Easton Adams, I know it was close. But anyways, you know Ansel Adams, the kind of the, the father of modern black and white landscape photography. He wrote the book, he wrote several books on like how to best use your camera and develop your negative and make the best print ever. A volume of technical materials that are still influencing photographers to this day. So I think due to all the great works he did, we need to give Ansel a, let's say, A tier. I know, you think after all that I give him an S tier, but, but listen, it's Ansel Adams not Sansel Saddams. Two A's, we gotta match it up with his name. I'm sorry, that's just how the horse app works. So let's see who the horse app has for us next. Jacques-Henri Latigue, or... I'm not French, okay? I probably butchered that really bad. But Latigue is kind of, in all of photography, his story arc is kind of my favorite. Like a few people have achieved this story arc and it's like everyone in that just is like the best because it's, they, they get into photography and they just shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot for decades without any care if they get into an art museum or get into Magnum or have a thousand likes or you know, any of the metrics of popularity that people chase these days through the medium of photography. Like nope, they just had a camera, shot stuff they liked and didn't give a damn and then decades later, someone discovers their whole huge body of work across their whole period of life, and they're just like, bro, we gotta get you famous. And that's, in a nutshell, the story of Lartigue, and it's a very cool story. I wonder how many more people like that are just sitting out there waiting to get discovered, you know? Oh, so, so Lartigue, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna slap him firmly into the S tier. Number one, moving on to our next candidate for a ranking. Bruce Gilden. So he's noted for just walking around the streets of New York City, taking his camera and a flash in one hand and just bam, popping it in people's faces from two feet away. It's very unflattering photos, but they're really real and really dramatic and we'll go B tier on that one. Yeah, B for Bruce. <laughs> they're not gonna all be rated off their name, okay? That was a joke in the first one. I just wanted to say Sansel Saddams. Okay, moving on from Bruce, who do we have next? Henri Cartier-Bresson, once again, a French name, and I only have French Quebec 
in my blood from so far long ago that it doesn't mean anything in my life. So I'm gonna keep butchering the French names. But, <sighs> so here's the thing. Photography is a lot like the other P word that you're not allowed to make fun of. Politics. So there's a lot, there's a lot of like, and much like in politics, if you ever have a stance in your life, and later on, 20, 30 years later, you're now a senator or whatnot, and you've got new facts, new information, you've grown as a human being, and that stance that you once had documented like 20 years ago is different than what you believe now, your career is over. So since politics and photography are pretty much two sides of the same coin, the problem with HCB is that he was well known as the guy who was like, you don't ever crop your photos. You take your photos and that's it. Get it right in the camera or you suck in a nutshell. But here's the thing. HCB's photo of a man jumping across a little puddle taken back in the 1930s is arguably one of his most famous pieces happens to be cropped. So he is nothing but a dirty hypocrite and much like any other politician who might have changed their stance at any point, we gotta cancel them. Straight into the detail. Sorry, HCB, it has to be that way. Okay, so that was a painful one. I'm gonna admit that. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people thought it was gonna be higher, but so let's, let's move on to our next candidate for horse ranking. Charles O'Rear! Who? the hell is Charles O'Rear? Horse app, where are you giving me? Oh my God, let's look him up and see what 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 lack in my knowledge there is. Charles O'Rear. Oh, hold on, hold on. Do you see this? Charles O'Rear is an American photographer. His image, Bliss, was used as a default Wallpaper of Microsoft Windows XP operating system. <laughs> oh my god, this, this is possibly the most famous photographer on this list, and I didn't know his damn name! What, what did I pay for in art school? Oh my god, everyone knows this photo. This is the most famous photo of all time. Charles O'Rear. You, you put that, you put that name into your memory, because if you don't know it like I did, you... Ooh. You, you have to know it now, because that, that, that's so monumental in the world of photography. Definite, no hesitation, S tier, straight to the top for Charles O'Rear. Oh, boy. Horse app, teaching us something today. I did not expect that. Damn. Okay, horse app. What kind of twists and turns do you have for us next? And f Gettys, yes, S tier without hesitation. What? What? You're questioning my. You're questioning me. You're questioning little old me, giving Anne f Gettys an S tier rating. Think about this for a moment. You come home from work one night. You're exhausted, but you really need a drink. So you grab your baby drive down to a local bar and you get yourself a drink with your baby. You know, you're enjoying your, your cocktail or your beer or whatever kind of libation you enjoy. Then this like blonde woman just comes out of the shadows, like glides up behind you and she's like, that's a nice baby. And you're like, that is a nice baby, thank you. And she's like, I want to photograph your baby. And you're like, oh, that, that, I was meaning to get some portraits taken. And, He's like, I'm Ann Gettys. I want to put your baby into a head of cabbage and photograph it. And you're like, oh, cabbage baby, Ann Gettys. Like, do you know how much of a badass you have to be to just take a baby and stuff it in the cabbage? It's, it's monumental. Like, if you go, if you go to Craigslist or your local Facebook marketplace and hire whoever to shoot your infant babies, the most creativity you can expect is they're gonna put a bow on your baby. But Ann Gettys is gonna stuff your damn child into some vegetables and boom, it's gonna sell for millions. 
And that's why Ann Geddes earns a spot on the S tier. All right, Ann, who comes after Ann? Gary Winnie Grand? What? Oh my, <laughs> it's a horse. The horse app is glitching. Uh, huh, huh, huh. There, there we go. Now we got the proper Gary Winogrand. <laughs> oh my God, this, this app is glitching. But Gary Winogrand, noted street photographer who hated the term street photographer, spent most of his days just wandering around shooting hundreds of rolls of film of everyday casual stuff. And that's just what he did his entire life. And has made a huge body of incredibly awesome work documenting the human spirit through the 50s and 70s. I'm fiddling with dropping him into the A tier, but the thing is, when he died, he left like thousands of undeveloped rolls of film that some poor person had to go and like develop and edit and process and try to make new bodies of work out of it. And it just, to me, that felt really rude that he didn't keep on top of his work. So instead of an A, we're gonna bump him down to a B. That seems fair. However, Gary Winnie Grand the horse we're gonna put in the S tier because a horse would never be that rude. Oh, how did I talk myself into making this video? Okay. Okay, horse hap, no more glitches. We gotta get through this. Up next, ba -ba -da -da, Sally Man. Yes, another well-respected family photographer. In a way, one of her arguably most famous bodies of work were all these beautiful black and white photos that she took of her family taken with a eight by 10 large format field camera, which I spent a good time in my career working with those and it is not an easy system to work with. And like to see the caliber of portraits she made with that device, it's, it's stunning. But here's the thing, the best to my knowledge, she never put her kids in any cabbage. So Sally man, the most I can give you is A tier. If you wanna get up in the S tier of Ann Geddes, Go shoot some kids and some cabbage and get back to me and then we'll pop you up there, okay? All right, all right, next on the list, drum roll. Ken Rockwell! Oh, Ansel Adams walked so Ken Rockwell could run. Like Ansel Adams wrote these three very important books on photography, but what did Ken Rockwell do? Well, he wrote the website on photography reviewing pretty much every piece of gear ever created and then unlike Ansel Adams, you dig in deep enough, you find like fanfic stories of anal probes and stuff. It's amazing. It's amazing. Most people could wish they had the writing and reviewing prowess of Ken Rockwell. I don't know a single photograph of anything he's ever taken looks like, but his contributions to the knowledge base of photography earns him a solid A tier. All right, Horse App, are you done giving me photographers yet? We've kind of hit all of the legends. Who do you got left? Fucking Brace Steel? No! Horse App! Horse App! It's, it's, ugh. Brace Steel isn't even a photographer. It's the worst skit from the worst episode of Saturday Night Live ever when the worst person, Steven Seagal, hosted it. Oh my God, Horse App. This is straight to the D tier. There's just, you know what? We're not even gonna go D tier, we're going lower. I'm throwing it off the board. I don't care where it lands. R tier, Y tier, Z tier, whatever. Get down there. It was a horrible, horrible episode. Okay, horse app, are we done? Oh, the horse app says we're done with an upset Winnie. <laughs> oh. What an adventure in tier rankings. Wow, I can't wait for this to explode and just get famous. And if you wanna help that happen, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and then maybe leave a comment or six, cause all of that helps. Until then, there's something else you can watch. Have you clicked it yet? I really want to go.